Writing is something we all do almost every day. If you're a student or academic, you have to write essays and paper. Even after university, you have to write emails and reports. And if you're a creator like me, you have to write articles or scripts for video. So, writing fast while maintaining the quality is very important. I don't consider myself as a great writer, but there is this writing strategy that really helps me to write fast and improve the quality of my writing. And that is to see writing as building blocks. I've briefly touched upon this method in another video called Smart Note Taking Habit, but it's essentially seeing writing as a process of building LEGO. Imagine you're trying to build this thing with LEGO. First, you have to prepare every block that is necessary to build it. Then you put the blocks together. Now, let's apply this framework to writing. As an example, this is a script I wrote for the last video about concentration. Let's see how I use this method to write it. Whenever I write something, I always make two sections, blocks and body. First, you have to prepare blocks that you need to build the thing you want to build. That means in the block section, write down everything that you want to say in your article. So here, I want to talk about Pavlovian conditioning, boredom, how the modern life destroys your concentration, focus sprint, Abraham Lincoln, why concentration is important, etc, etc. What's important in this step is that you don't have to care about the flow, and how each block or idea is going to be connected. It's kind of like brain dumping, where you throw in every idea you have in your mind. Second, once you've finished preparing all the blocks you need, the next step is to put them together. What I usually do is to open the same page in the sidebar, click focus on block for the body section. Then I start putting the blocks together so it is logical and coherent. In this case, I want to talk about Abraham Lincoln at the beginning, and then how the modern life destroys your concentration and so on. This step is going to require a lot of thinking because you have to create a flow and a story. But when it's finished, you're going to have your first draft. Finally, the last step is editing and polishing. Read your first draft from the beginning and remove unnecessary sentences or add more sentences or words where it doesn't flow well. This process of editing is probably the most important step of writing, so make sure to spend a good amount of time on it. When you are done with editing, you can publish your work. This was a short video, but I hope you got something useful. In summary, if you want to write fast, I'd recommend seeing writing as building blocks. The first step is preparing all the blocks you need, that is just writing down everything you want to include in your article. The second step is putting the blocks together. See the blocks you made and put them in a logical and coherent order. Finally, the last step is editing. Remove the fat and modify where it doesn't flow well. This video was sponsored by Woven. Woven is the most powerful calendar app I know. Unlike a normal calendar app, it comes with a range of useful scheduling tools, such as group poll and one-time scheduling link. You can use group poll when you want to schedule an event with your friends, like going for dinner. All you have to do is just choose potential times for the dinner and send a poll to your friends. You can also make one-time scheduling link when you want to, for example, schedule a Zoom call to have a catch-up with your friend. You can decide the times you want to offer, create a link and send it to your friend. Then you just have to wait for your friend to pick a time from the link you shared. If you are someone who has to arrange meetings with your colleagues or meetups with your friends, Woven will save so much of your time. You can download it for free from the link in the description. Thanks for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my weekly newsletter where I share my favorite apps, articles, books, podcasts, and more. Thanks, bye.